and we are back with uh, something a little different for you today. Now, over the last 24 hours, there has been a lot of discussion around the introduction of these new 99 game super loans. And I thought it'd be good to give my thoughts on it because I know there's been a lot of debate whether or not people think this is a good thing or a bad thing. Now, in my opinion, the way I run the game, I think this is a massive W from EA Sports. Really? I really love the concepts. I've always been someone that likes to use loans as and where I can. And the fact that you can now get 99 game loans on particular players, I think is so good. And here's why. So here is a team on the screen for you of SBCs that I've completed over the course of this year so far. Just because I had the fodder to do so. Obviously, I all hope that all of these players would perform relatively well in game. But the fact of the matter is, is, I didn't really need to complete any of these cards. And I did them anyway, just because I had fodder left over. Now, the total cost of this entire squad combined comes to approximately an, an absolutely eye-watering 3.8 million coins. You disgust me. And if you thought that was bad, listen to this. For 3.8 million coins, the entirety of this squad has played a grand total of 178 games. Hell no. And that includes 44 on this Fafana. Some of these players have barely even played. This David Silver card, 78k, never played a game. This Almiron card, 100k, two games. Ferran Torres, 100k, no games. These are cards that I just completed because I could. Actually, this one's even worse. Declan Rice has played three games. He cost 250k to complete. It's absolutely staggering. But like I said, I did these cards purely because I could. And if super loans were available for all of these cards, I think with the possible exception of maybe a Decatalar at 90 rated, probably all of these cards would have been done as super loans because... I just don't need them, and I'll, what I'll do now is I'll jump to the players in question, which is, of course, Biner Gittens and Hendricks, and I'll explain why this is then a good thing. Now, in terms of Biner Gittens, I'm only ever going to realistically need that card if I'm just going to have a little bit of fun experimenting in foot champs or rivals. If I'm using Jude Bellingham, for example, he's a perfect link to Jude Bellingham, so Biner Gittens is useful for me if I'm going to use him. If I'm going to use Biner Gittins in objectives, and bear in mind that loans are normally not allowed in objectives, I am going to need to put him either in a Bundesliga team or an England team. Now, for Bundesliga, I already have Sadio Mane, Moussa Diaby, and Kingsley Coman for the left mid, right mid spots. And for England, I have Joe Cole, John Barnes, Mavididi, Theo Walcott, which you saw in the squad of players I've wasted. But the fact of the matter is I have all of these cards already. So I just have no need to put an 83 and an 84 rated squad into Bayern Gittens. Whereas an 82 rated squad to get him on a 99 game loan where I can just mess about with him in champs and rivals. That for me is worth it. On the flip side you then have Hendricks who is an 87 rated German right back from the Bundesliga. And as it stands right now my only Bundesliga right backs are John Joe Kenny and Munier. And I don't have a German right back unless I used a standard Kimmich on a position change at right back. So for me, an 84 rated squad into Hendricks is worth it because he would actually go into my German and Bundesliga objective teams as an 87 or potentially 89 rated card. And that is the key thing for me. By introducing these super loans, it actually allows you to target which SBCs you need to complete. And which SBCs you can just put as loans if you wanted to try these players out or just mess around with these players in the game modes where you just are literally experimenting. So that is why for me it is an absolutely massive W. The other benefit is of course I am not submitting that opportunity cost into an SBC. So again if you go back to that squad that I had earlier, 3.8 million coins worth of assets have gone onto players that I basically do not use. If that 3.8 million gets turned into literally 200k because all those players were loans, I've now got 3.6 million coined worth of fodder assets I can then put into higher end SBCs like the Zidane SBC or the Mbappe SBC or potential future high end SBCs where 
that fodder can be available to me. And that is what is so critical about this. Lower end SBCs or lower end players that would only get into rotation at most, I can now do them as super loans for less opportunity cost, allowing me to save up massive fodder and large amounts of massive fodder to then complete high end SBCs when they come out. And that's the critical thing for me. And going forward, I hope EA do continue to do this super loan thing because I can actually experiment and play with a lot more cards this way and have a lot more fodder left over to complete the high-end SBCs. So those are my thoughts. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I know, as I said, a lot of the community is very negative about this, but this is why I think it's a massive W. I hope this is something they do for the rest of the year. I hope this is something they bring over to EA Sports FC because if they do, I'm going to have so much more fun next year building so many more teams by using mid-range players on 99 game loans as opposed to dumping all of my fodder into cards just because I can. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Drop a like if you agree. Let me know if you disagree. Subscribe if you're new around here. I'll see you very soon.